Good morning, Papa Trains is going to help you out on the bench press today. But before we do anything like that, before we go train, I want you to subscribe to the channel. I want you to like the video. Those are two things I ask of you. Not much to ask, to be fair, because you're going to get so much out of this video. You're going to be like, wow, I wish I could give this guy two likes, maybe. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right, anyways, let's get into breakfast. And we're going to go train. We'll talk to you about the bench press as we go on. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Breakfast is ready with a little bit of an adjustment. I used to have two slices of low calorie toast, but I've changed it to just a bagel. 20 grams of Nutella on one bagel, 20 grams of strawberry jam on another bagel, five hex sausages. This ends up being like a really high carb, low fat, high protein breakfast, like 50 grams of protein. The calories and macros are over there. And the first tip for the bench press that I'm gonna give you that people mess up all of the time, unless you see it, they bench without doing this. And it just doesn't make any sense to me because why would you do that? Why would you wanna be unstable? Number one tip is bracing. You wanna take a big breath into your stomach and squeeze as if someone's gonna punch you before before you unrack the bar, right? So before you unrack the bar, you go brace, boom, unrack. When you're here, let out a little bit of air, just through your mouth, full squeeze. Take in as much air as you can and then go for your reps, right? You wanna do as many reps as you can on that one breath and then at the top, rebreathe. At no point should you be breathing going down or going up. You should be holding your breath all the way. You can rebreathe again at the top. That's my number one tip. That's a really important tip. That's enough to change your bench rest completely pretty much if you don't do it. We're gonna go over it. You're gonna see it more in practice when I go train and I show you all that. So stick around and there's also gonna be more tips coming. So, but the first one is brace, big breath into your stomach, squeeze your stomach as hard as you possibly can, unrack, take more air in and then go for your reps. It's gonna make you so much stronger, okay? Let's dig into the breakfast and I'll see you guys when I'm finished. <laughs> hey. This is not really a bench press tip as it is a bodybuilding slash vanity slash pump, insane pump tip. Can you grab some salt, my G? Yeah, right. And a spoon. Basically, the idea is, if you guys watch the channel often, you know, but half a teaspoon of salt, don't go crazy on it, but half a teaspoon of salt. If you don't wanna do it, don't do it. If you wanna complain, drop your opinions down in the comments, that's fine. Half a teaspoon of salt, just like this, you put it in. The salt is gonna increase your blood pressure. It's gonna make you retain a little bit of water, which means higher blood pressure and water retention. Your your muscles are like 70% water. You're gonna get better pumps, you're gonna get better contractions. If you have a if you have a potassium supplement or you have an electrolyte supplement from my protein, it also has potassium and sodium in it. So that combination of those two makes you retain more water, makes you have more powerful muscle contractions, just sets you up for the most amazing session. So have some salt before your training session. If you don't want to listen to me, go look up Stan Efferding, talk about salt intake before training. He has hundreds of athletes and they improve their performance by having just a little bit of salt before training okay so if you don't trust me trust him whatever dude you do whatever you want mate okay but i'm just telling you half a teaspoon of salt goes fucking crazy am i right yeah right yeah. go pumps goes crazy you know it does improve your performance in the gym pre-workout but not really <laughs> but if you like to take it you should take it hey <laughs> you do whatever you want my bro but it's not gonna exactly help your bench press per se but it might get you a little bit more energized might get you a little bit happier to train might get you motivated if you're having a bad day it might even that out to an average day if you're, having a, if you're having an average day, it might make it an amazing day. See what I'm saying? So pre-workouts are useful in a way, but definitely not essential. It's not a bench press tip. This is just a general caffeine addict trying to push my habits onto you to make myself feel better. Sound good? Sounds good to me, bro. What do you think about me pushing bad caffeine habits onto the next people, next to the next generation, I onto mean, the next? It's their responsibility at the end of the day if they decide to take on your habits or not. Cheers to that, my G. But you still shouldn't do it. Thanks, mom. I hate you. Fuck off, mom. So yeah, cheers, boys. Woo. Smells like a good bench session. Ready to go. We're matching hoodies. Uh, I didn't want it to happen, but we are. Um, because I wanted to wear this hoodie and Lucy also wanted to wear this hoodie. <laughs> so we're going to go into the gym looking like absolute twats. Matching hoodies and stuff. But let's go to the gym. It's going to be fucking sick. Woo. Let's go. Milady. My calves are sore, but I don't, know, I don't know what from. I didn't do anything yesterday. Were you reaching shelves? Yes. A bit too hard yesterday. I was. You were, you were cleaning. Day. Yeah, I was cleaning. <laughs> Why are my calves like tight and uncomfortable? It's horrible. Doesn't make no sense, mate. Maybe it's because I didn't walk anywhere. Maybe. We got a parking fine back in, I was going to say Manchester, Birmingham, and it's just chilling behind my seat. And Lucy just said, you're going to forget about it because it's behind the seat. And that got me thinking, you're probably going to forget to subscribe to the channel. Oh my goodness, yeah. No, that is true. That's true, yeah, right? Yeah, they will. Yeah. So I think you should just click it right now, and then it's just out of your hair, right? And then you don't have to think about it. And you have to think about it ever again. You'll be subscribed, and that's it. You're subscribed to the channel. So we're going to go bench. It's going to be sick. I'm going to give you some tips. I'm going to give you my tip. Do you get it? It's going to be sick. Lucy knows all about that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. All right. See you at the gym, big boy. Okay, here are my tips for the bench press. There's gonna be loads here in the training portion of the video, so this is the most important part of the video. Let's go. 
Number one thing is consistent setup slash routine slash ritual. You're gonna see me here, I'm gonna show you a few times I set up. I set up exactly the same every single time. It's gonna be different for everybody, but just find a routine that feels comfortable to you and repeat it every single time as if your life depends on it. That's gonna give you consistency and that's gonna make your bench press increase over time just because you are in the same position every single time you bench press. Makes sense? Makes sense, right? Makes perfect sense, bro. Just set up the same time every time. Why would you wanna be setting up in a different way every time? It's gonna be awkward. Number two, I want you to be thinking about, on the bench press, as you go down, I want you to be thinking, sternum to the bar. Like, as you go down, you wanna be rowing the bar towards you, like using your lats and your back to row the bar towards you. I know the gravity is, you know, pushing the bar down, but you wanna be actively rowing it towards you. That's gonna keep your back tight, your shoulders safe, and you wanna bring your sternum to the bar. That's gonna make you puff up your chest, Keep your back even tighter, keep your shoulders even small, stable, even safer. It's a fucking double whammy, triple whammy, however many things I've said already. And another tip is leg drive towards your face. So you wanna set your feet up as far back as you can comfortably get them. If you can get them somewhere around the area of your glutes, if you're from the side, if you record yourself, somewhere underneath your glutes, maybe a little bit forward, that's gonna give you the optimal you know, place to leg drive from. So. That's what you wanna be doing, so that's where you wanna place your feet, and then you wanna be leg driving towards your face. If you're sitting on an office chair right now, you can do this exercise with me. So, imagine you're on a bench press. When you leg drive, you wanna be doing this. As if you're gonna just fly away. Yes, I'm sitting here without any trousers, of course I am. But, that's what you, mean to, that's what you wanna be doing, because the bench press, it's not a straight up and down movement. You start, you go low, and then it goes up towards your face, and the leg drive, if you leg drive towards your face, it's gonna help you. It's also gonna keep your back and everything tight as well because you sort of compress your body like this. Makes sense? Makes sense. Tip number four, increase your frequency. If you're benching once a week, your bench probably isn't gonna go up. It's not enough volume, it's not enough sets, it's not enough frequency. Um, so bench twice a week, if you're benching once a week. If you're benching twice a week, try benching three times a week. On that third day, I'll probably do a variation of the bench press, whether that's a feet up bench press, close grip bench press, neutral grip bench press if you've got a neutral grip bar, any sort of variation that works for you, try everything but increasing frequency, the bench press responds really well to that, so you should increase your frequency to try and improve your bench press. Um, and number five, I spoke to a guy the other day, and he said that his elbows, shoulders, everything hurts. And then I asked him about a session, he wants to improve his bench press. Then he, he asked me about a session, I asked him about a session, I said, how many exercises do you do? What do you do? He was like, okay, I'll do bench press, incline press, shoulder press, dips, chest flies, uh, something else, something else. I was like, whoa, 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 it's too many exercises. Pick the bench press, and pick another chest movement, whatever that might be, pick a shoulder movement, like a compound shoulder movement, like a shoulder press, and then pick a shoulder isolation. Then do maybe one, two tricep exercises, and you're out, okay? That's gonna be enough exercises for you. Focus on those, bring the intensity to every single set, you're gonna improve on everything, and then you're gonna grow overall from the assistance exercises, and then your bench press is gonna increase as a result, okay? So don't be silly, don't be doing too many exercises, Everybody makes mistakes. It's not like you're silly for doing it, but you know what I mean. I'm trying to give you these tips so you can improve. And that's basically that, to be honest. And the next thing you can do to improve your bench press is to subscribe to my channel because I'm always going to be giving you tips. You can always pick up on little tidbits of information. There's always going to be helpful stuff coming here, mate. So subscribe to the channel. If you haven't liked the video yet, after hearing all these tips, oh, come on, mate. How much, how much stuff do I have to give you? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so just like the video. Easy peasy. I'll see you in literally a second when I'm talking to you in literally two seconds, mate. So, yeah, I'm not going anywhere, all right? Wow! Absolutely. 10 10 session. I'm gonna go do cardio. I'm not. Which, I, which I, I, I've, I've been thinking, I was like, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do. I said I'm gonna build a habit and I wanna actually do it. Yeah, it's really And important. also, if I don't do the cardio, I've added 400 calories onto like my daily diet and removed cardio, which means I've probably added about 600 calories onto my diet. Which like means within a week, <laughs> within a week or a week and a half, I'm gonna be like 100 kilos. Yeah. Which is it's not where I wanna be. I wanna be able to like, have the higher calories for the performance benefits and then do the cardio. Because I have the energy, it's gonna be easy. Do the cardio, have the extra calories for recovery and everything's gonna be fine. So I'm just gonna swallow my pride and just go and do it. There's nothing to it but to do it. Hey, no way Lucy's gonna to stick to it. No, I'm gonna do it tonight after bus cab. <laughs> bus literally cab, I'm not, there's we no way. We have to go shopping as well, so. Yeah, no, I'm not doing it, but I'm gonna do it tomorrow because I'm not working tomorrow, so. You don't have to do cardio every day, right? No, You're I'm like, I'm off.
All right, we're in the kitchen. You might be thinking, Dave, we're in the kitchen. What has that got to do with bench pressing? But listen to me. The bench press is the number one lift that is directly correlated with body weight. Look at the heaviest benches in the world. They are massive guys, okay? And that applies across the whole range of lifting. You can have a very, very strong deadlift because your leverages and you can be quite, you know, small. You can have a pretty heavy squat, still be relatively small, but the bench press, you cannot be small and have a big bench press. It's just not gonna happen. The bench press responds to body weight, and the issue that people have, the issue, that the mistake that people make, is that they expect their bench press to increase in a calorie deficit, probably not gonna happen. Most likely, it is not gonna happen. Or even in a maintenance, very, very difficult, right? You have to be in a surplus. You should be in a surplus in order to increase your bench press. Whether, whether you like it or not, that is how it works, right? You apply all of these tips that I've given you, and you put yourself in a surplus. Now we're talking, right? now you have fuel. The reason why it responds to body weight the most is because as you get bigger, right, you get thicker through here, right, whether that's muscle mass or even fat, your leverages just improve, right? You get thicker through the chest and back, which decreases your range of motion, right? You might be like, oh, decreased range of motion, not as much muscle. It's so minute that like, it doesn't matter. You actually get more gains in the long run. It doesn't matter. You get more padding around your joints, your elbows. There's more like water, fluid, fat everywhere. You are stronger, you are more stable. The wider, the fatter, the bigger you get, doesn't have to necessarily be fat. It could be water, muscle, fat, and the combination of all of them will make you expand everywhere. And as you expand, it's almost like you get better leverages for the bench press. That's how it works. So, calorie surplus, boys. Eat the fuck up. If you don't know how to calculate a calorie surplus, there's a good website. It's called tdecalculator.net. Put your details in there. Now, it's not gonna be an accurate estimation of your calories, but it's a ballpark estimate, right? You try those calories, you actually stick to them, get a scale, weigh your stuff, and then over time, see, what, see what's happening. Step on the scale every single day. See your weight. Is it increasing? Yes, okay, you're in a surplus, amazing. Is it not increasing? You're probably in a maintenance. If it's going down, you're in a deficit, simple as. And then you increase your calories by 100, 200 accordingly until you hit a surplus. There you go, those are your surplus calories. Now you know that, right? And that is exactly the reason why I'm gonna make some food right now, all right? I'm gonna make some potatoes and chicken with some ketchup, it's gonna be absolutely sick. Time lapse coming in three, two, one. I want you to just soak that all in. Have a look at those, those are amazing. I've got some chicken here, which I've basically finished. They're literally like chips, but it's potato. Calories, macros, over here. The recipe for the food, over there. And I'm gonna see you boys, when I've got another tip for you which is gonna be right in like three seconds. Listen up, I thought of another tip. I was in the car, I was like, what can I tell you guys? What can I think of on the bench press? And I thought, this is the one, okay? When you bench press, you grab the bar, as you do, of course you do. As you go down, you wanna be thinking about spreading the bar. That's another tip. Down into the bar, rowing it towards you, but as you're doing both of those things, you also wanna be spreading the bar apart. That's gonna create even more stability through your elbows, shoulders, everywhere, mate. So spreading the bar is a good tip. I'm giving you all these tips, but try them, not all at once, because you don't, you won't know what like really sits with you, right? So say the sternum to the chest and rowing really works for you, but then when you add the spreading of the bar, it sort of messes it up. Try it one thing at a time, and then you're gonna see what really Really sticks, practice it, and then stuff like that, okay? If you just throw everything all at once, you're not even gonna know what's work, what works, what's bad, what's good. See what I mean? Does that make sense, Lucy Lips? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes plenty of sense, that's what I'm saying. Let's go shopping. Also, also, all you do, come here, come here. What? All you do is make money, torn coat. I'm not buying new clothes. <laughs> Swindle means of buying some Valentine's stuff, even though Valentine's. it's literally still January. Valentine's is on the 14th of February. <laughs> and she's like, oh my God, it's so cute. Dave doesn't do anything nice. No. This is something you need to know about him. He doesn't like birthdays, he doesn't like Christmas, he doesn't like Valentine's Day. I, and it, I'm trying to just get him into liking nice things. My family was poor. We didn't have money for birthdays, yeah, Christmases, but, or anything but like things, that. That's why it just doesn't exist in my mind. Life is different now. Every day, every day was like normal. Like, if my, my birthday came around, my parents were like, we have food. Fine. It was just like every day. However, your life is different now. All right, okay, fair enough. We need a new pad. So a new pan it is. What do you think? Priorities, about that? priorities. Priorities. Are your hair pink? So in order for it to be that pink, you need to bleach it first. Yeah, you should bleach it. Go crazy. No? Just, no. No? No. Why would I why? do that? Because you I have look cool. I have like lovely hair as it is. Why would I do that? She <laughs> looks like. I don't know. Yeah, it's greasy right now. All right. <laughs> This is the most important thing I came here for, and I'm getting pranked, I think, because the ones that I usually have just simply aren't here. I, I, well, I usually grab the Tesco's finest because I'm a snobby little prick now. I just spoke about how I don't do Valentine's or anything like that, but okay, we're just gonna have to grab regular old baby potatoes, but like excessive quantities. Four, six, more? That's it, we don't have any storage for anything else. I'm gonna try and really, really try and give you a tip okay. without sounding like a person that doesn't have any vocabulary. When I bench, to keep my back tight and my neck and everything tight, what I think of is squeezing my traps together 
and tucking my chin so like intensely so when I'm driving I'm like and that's all I can feel so when I'm benching I, I'm like so state so when I bench I'm stable because it's like if you're unstable you're screwed it makes sense if you drive your chin into your chest like this and almost get as far away from your own body as possible that also gives you stable it avoids strong. your head coming off of the bench as well which isn't allowed in powerlifting which, which yeah if you, power, cares if about you power lift really then that's not allowed. There's one other tip. Easy work, mate. Here with these in Norway and also in the hotel here I in England. And I literally, croissants, they have, I've got a little bit of a soft spot going right now. They're really tasty. Really fucking good. Literally recently, I'm at wit's end with these seasonings because there's never the ones I want. I'm just like constantly trying new ones. But when I try new ones and I like, they are, they're out of stock every single time I come to the shop. It literally doesn't make any sense. How does that make any sense? Beef bovril. This is the bad boy I need. Get in there. I've been toying with the idea of uh, scrapping the jam and having one bagel with Nutella and one bagel with Biscoff. It's a bit of a sticky one though. We're gonna try something new. I'm gonna try these turkey bacon things because apparently they're gas. Yeah, Lucy, I, I Lucy like likes them and I've heard a lot of people like them. So we'll see. Maybe instead of hex sausages? Mm, I think hex sausages are better, but they're still good. It's a switch it up, switch it up, switch it up. Now that I'm having a few more calories, look what, what aisle we're in. Toilet <laughs> paper, because I'm gonna be spending a lot more time on the toilet, because I need to hit that 180 bench, it's gonna be sick. I'm literally gonna hit that 180 bench in about two weeks, the way it felt today. I did 155 for three, I literally felt like piss. What do you think about that? Yeah, I reckon that's pretty cool. Yeah, I reckon I'm, gonna, I'm literally gonna bench 180 no I time. reckon I'm gonna deadlift 180 before you bench 180. Not happening, no chance. Obviously not. Oh, nah, 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 nah. I need cereal and I just, 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 just realized. I just remembered what these taste like. I wanted, cr I wanted uh, Cheerios, but they fuck up the roof of my mouth. Crunchy nut tastes all right, but furiously cinnamon goes absolutely nuts. That's, this is the one I'm having. All right, all right, change of plan, change of plan, change of plan. Reason being, the curiously cinnamon, yeah, they taste nice, but they've got a little bit more fat in them. And I want something for like, after my training session, you want like high glycemic carbs, right? So a frosty, which has no fat, it's just gonna get absolutely destroyed inside of me, along with like a chicken breast, it's gonna go crazy. That's the switch, I'm making it. Not tell anybody about this. If you haven't seen anything. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Gas, and gas. This is what, uh, this is what happened yesterday between me and you. Dave, you can't tell them that. Look at that. Hold up, hold up. Chocolate pudding and caramel pudding, 100 calories, a bit of carbs, and 15 grams of protein. Which means, and the club cut price. This yeah. is like a steal, mate. We're gonna try a few. Yeah. Uh, grab, I reckon, two of each, just to make sure. If they're good, we'll just come back and grab them, grab more of them, right? But that's the first time I'm seeing them in Tesco's. It's officially the most expensive shop me and Lucy have ever done ever. in Tesco's. Yeah, ever. We've, most we've done is like 110. Tap your club card. Club card accepted. <laughs> That's a oh joke, I can't. usually we save, I don't know, like 12 quid, 10 quid, something like that. All right, last bench press tip before we end the video. The last bench press tip I'm gonna give you is if you follow a program, stick to it for at least four months. Okay, do not switch programs because if you carry on switching programs, you're not gonna know what works. You're never gonna make any progress. So you stick to one single program. If you want a program, by the way, I didn't make this tip just to promote my program, but if you want a program, this program's down below. Also, if you enjoy the video, please give it a like, subscribe. Anything I'm associated with is down in the description. Like I said, the programs are great. I run the push pull legs program. It got me to like 170 kilo bench press, so it works, okay? Just stick to it or whatever program you have, just stick to it and that's it. Subscribe, I'll see you tomorrow, 12 p.m. every day, no matter what. Love you guys, see ya. Bye.